We have finally done it. 100,000 subscribers. I'm not going to lie. It hasn't really sunk in yet, but I know that I'm grateful. I was sitting here trying to figure out what video I was going to upload today. And I realized I haven't thanked y'all for getting me to 100,000 subscribers. So I want to thank y'all for the love. I want to thank y'all for the support. I want to thank y'all for sharing the videos, all the comments. I'm so grateful. For those of y'all who've been here for a while, you know the ups and downs. At one point in time, YouTube made me depressed. You know, when I first started my YouTube channel, it was to promote music. Then it became a point where I needed the money to help pay for my grandmother's medical bills. And then the adpocalypse happened, it just went downhill from there. So to go from that to looking at 100,000 subscribers to looking at, you know, the amount of traction the videos get, I'm forever grateful. Yes, husband. Hey, baby, can you come, out, come downstairs for about one minute? Okay, give me two minutes, please. Hello? 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 Is your name wife, boy? Hello. 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 I'm not going to talk about that. You said Joe. Remember when I texted you we did it, Joe? Because I was scared when I was driving to a new place. And I said we did it, Joe. Where does that come from? Kamala Harris. Oh, whoa. Oh, come on. Now. And I'm talking about this was four years ago. And yeah, I'm definitely afraid of driving. Like just driving, period, and then driving new places because I'm scared it's going to lead me to get on a highway. So I text him. We did it, Joe. But then I went to this event where you had to meditate. So I turned my phone off. I turned my phone back on. You know what it said? What did it say? Who the fuck is Joe? <laughs> oh. Oh, like. Y'all remember this? <laughs> I do remember it this. It was like last year or like yeah, a year and a half. Yo, son. Oh, I said, yo, I nah, said yo, you about got me. Oh, my shit. God. Yo, son. <laughs> so I do remember this, bro. I was reading it. I'm like, Joe. Who the f is Joe? He was so focused on getting reaching 100k. Everything else is just was uh, irrelevant. At oh the no, time. I was focused on Joe. I was trying to figure out who the fuck Joe was. But babe, that went viral. Like she called him. She was about to treat. She's like, we did it, Joe. Oh, like, I don't follow politics. So I, know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't Stop. know that. I just seen Joe. I was like, oh, she, she texting Joe. Thank y'all so much, okay, for helping RJ reach over 100K now. Like, y'all don't understand. It's been such a long time coming, you know what I'm saying? And, like, one of the things... I, I could say YouTube made me marry RJ. <laughs> what you mean? Like, when we were in our 20s and we were living on... Piedmont in that townhouse. Yeah. Like, I started really thinking about my future. You know what I'm saying? And, like, how I wanted my life to be. Who I, wanted, who I wanted to be in my life. And I remember, like, the thing that I admired about you the most is that at that time, I was writing my thesis for my master's, right? And you was just focused on YouTube. He had a job, but he was still, like, posting, I mean, making content on YouTube. But oh, that was, was go oh, ahead. That was for the other channel. Yeah, but still, I'm saying yeah. you don't know how long. Like this is not. Oh, yeah. he's been doing reaction videos for two years, and then he blew up on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, 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 like yeah. he got up to like twenty eight thousand subscribers from his previous content, and then he switched it over to what he was doing now. So it's been a. That's why I say it's been a long time coming with him, trusting his creative abilities, pivoting, not pivoting, trying different things out. You know, listening to the call when he realized that, you know, he's like, it's time for a change. I'm tired of doing waves. I don't see it going anywhere. But back when we were in our 20s, he would just wake up at the crack of the, like, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning and just work diligently on YouTube. And I'm just like, okay, I'm trying to get a master's degree. It's like, 
I have a commitment, but it's like, it's a degree. So I can't not get a degree, but I'm like, there's nothing tying this man to YouTube, but his personal commitment, you know what I'm saying? And I just thought that was so sexy. And I found safety and security in that because it made me feel like no matter what, he's going to make it happen. He's going to find a way he's going to make it happen. And whatever he's committed to, he's going to see it through. So it was like from that time I decided like, this going to be my man forever. Like We was already like together forever, but it was like, no, it's a forever thing because... You can't teach that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I think, again, like in this day and age, we're in our 30s. So safety and security means different things to different people. But I'm looking at character, integrity, and actions, you know. And at that time, I was getting it. I was a go-getter myself. So to me, it's more about your mindset and your longevity, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, like, just what you about by watching you. It's not about, like, what you're doing for me, per se. And it... Turned out to be true, you know? I appreciate that. You are a phenomenal husband, a phenomenal father, and, like, you did reach over 100K on you, so you never gave up, you know? Ooh. Huh. I think what I'm going to start doing, though, is, like, behind the scenes. <laughs> because I wish I recorded some of the behind the scenes stuff before we got to 100K. Y'all. Yeah. The good or the bad? Both. Oh, when I was out here depressed as hell? I was depressed as shit. That's what I'm saying. I was talking about that b- earlier. Yeah, I we de- both. I had PTSD from like. <laughs> oh, yeah, from me just doing YouTube. Yo, this dude, remember what's that movie? This is this, plenty of nights like, just swinging the air. <laughs> like, um, what movie is it? Uh, Boys in the Hood? Nah, don't be a menace. No, it was. They made up. It was making fun. Apparently. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, don't be a menace to, to something while drinking, drinking gin, drinking juice or something. But I'm uh, saying the original one came from um, Menace to Society. Menace to, no, it came from Boys Menace, in the Hood. No, Menace to Society. No, I'm telling you, they, it was a, it was a, it was a, Cuban Gooding Jr. He was the one swinging his arms in the air. And what's his face? The dark skinned dude. That, oh, you right. I know. Oh shit, you <laughs> are right. <laughs> that was. But when he was when he was hitting them kids. That's from the parody. That's the parody was but hitting I, the but kids. But I'm talking about the original because he was pissed that his friend died. That's what got him to swinging like that. Damn. But that's what I'm saying because it wasn't funny. Like when you was really going through your shit, like he felt like everybody turned against him. And I, nobody was on his side. It was a really hard time, y'all. So Because so, I used to have mad, like really good ideas. You know, you, I am. Oh, let's go back to that, that video we did before when the girl was like, nobody appreciates me. No, da, 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 I'm getting offline. Oh, that's God. how, no, that's, that's where he was at that time. He was in that so bag. I, I had really good ideas and I used to try to like, you know, express those to other creators that was in the same field that I was in when I was doing the hair shit and nobody was with it. And then come to find out, bro, a lot of people in different fields, I started doing it. And then people wasn't supporting it. And then other people in different fields started doing it and they blew up. So what that tells my husband is, I think he's accepted it now that he's a visionary and he's ahead of his time. Ooh, and you just have ooh. to find people that have similar visions or ahead of their time too. Not everybody's like that. It's just oh. the truth. Sometimes you have to go out of your inner circle to find who you know and create your own circle. It's okay. They're not against you. They don't hate you. They're still supporting you, but they just can't see as far as you see. And when you force them to, it's kind of like program shut down, like program overload. It's like, okay, when you're ready and you come to me for help and advice, I got you. But in the meantime, I need to stay inspired and inspire others who are on the same level as me or higher. So that's why I want you to join like the car groups and all that because you be speaking life into me like a pimp. Sure. But I'm not pimping you. I'm telling you the truth. Oof. You could just, why can't you say thank you? You could just, you could really just say thank you, babe. You look good, though. Thank you. Yeah, you look nice. I said, so, I told him that, like, my goal, my next major milestone is to lose, um, to get back in shape. Okay. Yeah. That's my next major milestone. I think you should try the thing I'm doing, on top of working out, but... Eat and rule until four. So you only eat fruits and vegetables until four o'clock. Then after four, if you eat like a protein and a veggie and like a pinch of a starch. Okay, I'm with that. 
I'm cool with that. And then you finally like my little smoothie I made, so I can make you that. That you, that you thought was ice cream. Yeah, it tastes like ice cream. Yeah, I made my own coconut milk, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what you do. You get you some organic shredded coconut flakes, and then you take that home, you add the coconut flakes, you add some water, and you blend it, right? You could put a little bit, no, you blend it first, and then you strain it, and then you add a little bit of agave and um, the vanilla bourbon paste from Trader Joe's to sweeten it up. I was on my Nora Smith shit, and let me tell you, it just felt so good, like, straining it and then pouring it into the bottle. I felt like... Martha Stewart? No. Like, you didn't turn this into the Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg show. Like, what the fuck? We were just talking. You know what? Thank you guys for uh, 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, you so much. You long-winded oh as my hell. God. So listen, just... I was thinking the plat going to come in, the silver plat, the platinum plat, the platinum plat going to come in, right? I think and it's I was, silver. Okay. Let's just call it platinum. No, is it gold? It's not gold. Which one is gold? Isn't that the one for a million? Yeah, gold isn't. So silver is for... A hundred thousand gold is for a million, and I think platinum diamond is for ten million. But shit, if I want it, once I, I gotta start cleaning up my content a little bit now too, cause they, they just uh, they just ban these YouTubers randomly for some. Yeah, they ban them for some bullshit. So I gotta kind of clean up my content. Well, I haven't cursed one bit, okay? It's not the cursing, it's the... The naked woman? What, how you going? The raunchiness. The raunchy. Like, talking about the raunchy or yeah, showing the raunchy? Yeah, I, I, I don't show too much raunchy. Like, I literally just be promoting beautiful women. Honestly, that's how I look at it. So, my shit don't be that raunchy. I will be saying shit, but I ain't gonna lie, though. I looked at some of their videos, they was, they was tweaking. Some of the stuff they was doing, they was tweaking. They took it a little too far. And if that's coming from me, that's saying a lot. So listen, y'all. What y'all think if he had a bookshelf behind him, right? By the by, the time we do that, by the time that plaque come in, I'll be ready. We probably gonna get get the house. How long it take for the plaque to come in? It take a while. Really? I try to I try to look it up. They said they gotta review my channel for 10, 10 days, and then they are gonna send me an email. And I asked, um, you know, it's a lot of them famous. Over there where I'll be playing ball at. Mm -hmm. So I asked one of them and he said it took like three months. Oh wow. For his plaque to come in. So by the time the plaque come in, we probably gonna already either have the house or I don't know. We're gonna see. Well anyway you guys. Post that? That's gonna be um when the plaque come in? Yeah, membership. What members oh the membership like us moving? I don't know. I might start a new channel. Like Why a, are you looking at me? I'm just saying, I might start a new channel. And what's that channel going to be about? Like, vlogs? Because there's other stuff that I'm into besides giving advice to people. You know what I'm what saying? What you into, Daddy? What you into that you want the people to know? Making money. Via? Like, trading. Okay. I'm pretty sure somebody could learn how to... Like, I could teach you how to trade. And I, I ain't gonna lie, them Forex niggas would hate me because I do that shit for damn near free. They're not gonna hate you. It's a market for everybody. <laughs> yeah, true. Some people just don't trust I can show you how to make a thousand dollars a day. Easy. Easy. And then, let me tell you, I've been really working on my mindset, y'all. And I could come in and share some healthy mindset tips with y'all because you know that's you know why people don't be taking action it don't be because of like the information it really be because of the mental blocks like they be like this shit cannot be this easy because they so used to working so hard you know what i'm saying it really be your subconscious mind that be holding you back we like the supportive auntie and uncle or youtube <laughs> dang not auntie and uncle. we are at that age sure i was at the park to somebody i'll be at the park folks be calling me unk I don't like that, boy. And then um, some somebody hit me up on, on Instagram. He asked me for some advice. Oh, you can hit me up on Instagram if you want some personal advice, yo. So it might take a while 
Because, like, I be having to go through the DMs and stuff like that. But I'll respond back. Trust me. I'll get back to you. But dude asked Ladies, me... Ladies, be respectful. He asked me, um... He said... His girlfriend basically cheated on him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. His girlfriend cheated on him. I forgot how, how the whole thing went. But I... I told him, I was like, yo, if I was you, you know, I'd leave her alone. It seemed like she's trouble or whatever, this, then, the third. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're a young guy. You can do better, the whole world, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Mans was like, thanks, unk. <laughs> that nigga said, thanks, unk. <laughs> I, ain't, I I seen it. I ain't even respond back. You just, just got to embrace it, babe. That's, that's all. I ain't 40, though. I now, if we wound it up, though. It's still like four years. What you talking yes, about? Yes, baby. Plus five. You, you know, that's still 40. I'm right there with you. I'm 35. You know, you could round down or up, but usually round up, so I'll be 42. Nigga said, thanks, Uncle. 